Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a veggie patch from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to turn a patch of grass like this into a veggie garden like this. Now to turn an area from this into this, you don't need any special equipment or need to live anywhere special. In fact, you can do it in your backyard if you want. All you need is a shovel and a bit of know-how. Ain't that right, buddy? Spend a couple of minutes with Moshi, Buddy and myself and I'll show you how to go about it. Well, come on then. Let's build a veggie patch with Duga. Hey, g'day. Duga here. I'm about to make my first cuts and get some veggie patches started. The first thing I'm going to do is run the lawnmower over it just to cut the grass back a bit. Right, I better get cracking. Cut the grass back a bit, which is going to make running over it with the cultivator just a little bit easier. As I did up in Townsville, I find that working with smaller patches of gardens is a lot easier for me to manage. So that's how I'm going to do it this time as well. It's going to take quite a bit of work with the cultivator as this soil is fairly compacted and has never been worked before. Okay, I've got my trusty Husqvarna tiller here. It's a beautiful bit of machinery and it really does a great job on small scale veggie patches like this. As you can see, it's not exactly easy. It looks like I've chewed off the top layer of grass at the moment. So I'm just gonna take a moment and try and rake away as much of that as I can. Two choices to do the job here. One's your bog standard line garden rake, which is light and does a pretty good job. But up the back of the horse stables, I found this super beast of a rake. It's got a quite heavy metal bar and probably weighs close to five kilograms. So she's a bit harder to work. Let's see what sort of job it does. This is all the stuff that I want to pick out at the moment. All the grass. I don't want that in my veggie garden. Well, that's a heavy old beast of a rake, but it's done a pretty good job. Done a better job than Buddy has anyway. As you can see, running at cross patterns makes it easier to chop up. And it's doing a pretty good job considering I started with the bare grass. I've got a lot more work to do though. There are probably about another hour or so of doing this. And that'll get it to a point where I'm happy enough to start adding some more organic material into this. This soil's going to now need a bit of work before I'm ready to grow some veggies in it. And it just so happens that I've got exactly the things that I need to make this soil perfect for growing veggies in. Let's go have a look. So to condition my soil for veggie growing, there's three main ingredients that I'm gonna to use to mix in with the existing black soil. Number one is this stuff, some good old fashioned hay. Number two is this stuff, some good old fashioned cow poo, and a lot of it. And the third thing that I'm gonna use is some of this here mushroom compost that I've got hold of. It's a perfect medium for conditioning that black soil over there. And once I mix all these three things in, it's going to be absolutely spot on for growing some veggies in. To complement those three materials and add a bit more body to the veggie patch, I've also got a bit of a garden mix here. One good way 
get this stuff into the garden and that's the hook in. I'm going to throw this down and cover as much of the square as I can and then I'll run over it with the cultivator to mix it all in. First thing in is the cow poo. Good amount of cow manure in there at the moment. I'll get to work on chucking some compost in. That's the manure and the compost in. Now I'll just sprinkle a bit of hay around. I'm just breaking it up into smaller pieces and giving it a fairly light coating. That way it won't tangle up in the cultivator and will mix in much easier. Right, that's the main ingredients that I'm going to need to help condition this soil a bit. One of the other benefits of adding this material in is that it's also raising the bed a little bit which is going to help to increase the drainage. Having good drainage is pretty important for your veggies. Time to run over this with the cultivator and mix it in. It's just like baking a good cake. Conditioning is something that you have to keep at. You have to continuously add organic materials into your veggie patch over its lifetime and the more you do the more you'll find that the soil will improve well this soil is looking pretty good at the moment and it's ready for growing i think it's time to get some seeds in the ground job done dug her out 